Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website that you may be looking at. Um, what I would like to do is welcome you to this website and tell you a little bit about what it is. I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years. I have worked with well over a thousand average men, women, kids, families, couples. One of the things I've observed in that work is that there is an invisible toxic cycle that is stressing many, if not most, average typical people, couples, families, and our whole society. Most people, or perhaps everybody, is unaware of this cycle. So the purpose of this website is to alert people to what the cycle is, what it does, and most importantly, how to break it. The website is composed of a series of eight uh, self-study lessons. They're sequential. Each one builds on the previous lessons. The lessons, briefly, are these. The first lesson is about your personality and who really is running your life. I suspect you would say, well, I am. Well, okay, but who is I? Question mark. Is it your wise true self who makes excellent short and long-term decisions? Or is it a well-meaning, quote, false self, unquote, that often leads to stress? That's lesson one. Try it out and find out who's running your life. And if it's not your true self, find out how to free him or her. The second lesson our society does a poor job of instructing us all in, I've been studying how to up communicate and think effectively for over 40 years. You'll find what I've learned in that lesson. The third lesson has to do with something also that at least typical Americans know very little about, yet they depend on it for holistic health. <clears throat> all of us throughout our lives form bonds or emotional, psychological connections to a wide range of things, not just people. Throughout life, circumstances or our choices are to break those bonds, and when that happens, nature has offered us a way of healing, which is grieving. Many people don't know how to grieve, they don't know how to judge when they're unfinished grieving, and they don't know the results of blocked grief. Results can be serious. They can be mental problems, psychological problems, even physical problems. So the third lesson is about healthy three-level grieving. The fourth lesson is about something that may concern you to some extent. It's about how to choose and maintain healthy, psychologically, spiritually healthy relationships. This is a non-denominational website, by the way. This has nothing to do with organized religion at all. Nothing. So, if you're curious about how to increase the number of highly satisfying relationships with adults and children, check out Lessons 1 through 4 in this free website. Using these four lessons, you're prepared then to look at the fifth lesson, which is, what can you do to raise the, quote, nurturance level of your family? By nurturance level, I mean nurturing is filling needs. Families exist to fill the needs of their members. Families range from low nurturance, people don't get their needs met very well, to high nurturance. They consistently get their needs met well often. I wonder how you would rank your present family in terms of its nurturance ability, low to high, one to ten, say. My observation is a high percentage of at least American families are probably five or less on that scale. The scope of personal, family, and social problems testifies to this. So lesson five offers ideas based on 40 years meditation, thought, and study. How can you raise the nurturance level of your family? The sixth lesson builds on the verse five. 
and it is about how to parent effectively. This includes the ideas of well over 40 different wise people that I've studied on this very complex, controversial subject. It goes into what are the developmental needs that typical children need informed adult help with. Can you name them? There are almost 30 such needs. What is effective child discipline? What are the traits of effective parents? What are their values, typically? How can you tell if you've done it an effective job parenting a child. So that's lesson six. Lesson seven takes all the prior lessons and uses them to offer some structured ideas on something I've been studying for well over 30 years, which is how can you build a high nurturance step family? A high number of people in our society divorce or are widowed they choose to remarry or recommit, they have one or more kids, and they form a stepfamily. Sociologists estimate that American stepfamilies fail more often than first marriage families, biological families. If you might be a stepfamily, or you already are, I think you'll profit by lesson seven. Lesson eight is for people who are altruistic enough to say, I see and recognize this cycle, of psychological wounds and unawareness, and I want to do something about it in my community, my region, my state, or my country. Um, it aims to give you options and practical ideas on how can you help other people learn about and break this cycle. I'm open uh, gladly to any kind of feedback you have on individual web pages or the whole website. Uh, every web page has a link at the bottom that says contact, which will get you a place to send me your feedback or contact me. I encourage you to spend time as a personal investment in this course, lessons one through at least seven or six if you're not likely to be a step family. Do this if no other reason than to protect any young people in your life. Okay. Um, thanks for your attention. I hope you try out the website and that you find it useful, interesting, challenging. Welcome to Break the Cycle.